and welcome back. Well, I want to take this uh, time to demonstrate the badassness of Maxwell. Behold the awesome. Oh yeah, rolling along the plains. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate Maxwell for you. He's a very useful summon. He can attack multiple enemies or one single enemy multiple times. Very handy. So now we are back in Alvinista. Time now, please. Yes, we're back at Westboro Baptist Church. No, no, we're not. Prison is boring. I love it here. You're weird. Stay away from me. We need to go speak to our good pal, Ruinglom. That's kind of a nifty name for an elf, you know. This way, uh, does an elf fighter mage for Dungeons and Dragons. They should use the name, uh... They call it Mystic? I call it Magitech, where I'm from. Weird for humans to be able to use magic. Uh, but anyway, somebody should use the name Ruinglom for their character. It'd be nifty. I know some of you out there watching, uh, Oh, d, d is of the devil! Uh. No, it's not. There's got to be someone to sell these two. Uh, unfortunately, no. Yeah, we know that. I see you've returned. What news? We reached the bottom floor of Morlia. Excellent! We found these rings there. A moonstone? So you can contract with Luna now? What's wrong? Can I speak with you outside of these walls? So you need to fix them. Can you do it? No, but I believe my friend Edward, aka Spoony Bard, actually no he's not, knows how we can repair them. He's done a lot of research on mystical artifacts such as these. Where can we find him? It says to the west of here. I'll write a letter from, to him for you. Thank you. Oh, so that house we went to earlier... Okay, I see what the game's doing now. Good luck. So, shall we be off? Uh-oh. What does it start? Well, I thought I heard someone talking to me. You, Stark. Get your lazy ass up and attend the Espada meeting now! You're not worthy of such a holy weapon. I have a much better weapon than the Gungner. Stark, are you alright? I'm alright. Just hearing things. <laughs> oh yay, nifty forest. Hello? Who's there? My name is Noida. We're looking for Edward. Can you give this letter to him? Edward's wife, Lilith? Oh, so Runeglom sent you. Sorry, but Edward isn't here right now. We're really in a hurry to talk to him. Well, if Runeglom, tr Runeglom trusts you, then so do I. Edward knows that Alvinista doesn't have the power to fight against Das. So he's looking for people to join the fight. Do you know where he went? He said he'd be heading to Freeland first. Thanks, we appreciate your time. When you do see him, please tell him that we're all okay here at home. I'll make sure he knows. If we hurry to Freeland, maybe we can catch up with him. Hmm. Yeah, because of our high level, I don't think we're going to be running into that many monsters. 
monsters. I mean, really, it's you guys have seen these fuckwits before. Don't look at me with those sad eyes. Die. Get out of here. I doubt the ice coffin is a, is the ultimate weapon in this game. Do do. Hardy har har. At 320, this is by far the cheapest ship. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. Let's see if anyone knows anything about Edward. Okay, so we're, we've got to go back to Olive Village. Also, if you wander the desert for a while, you'll encounter an enemy called the Basilisk. Very pain in the ass enemy to defeat because it can petrify you. However, if you have ice abilities, it, you can pretty much take it down. Easy. Wow, it's hot. In a way, I hope Edward isn't here. So, just so we can leave. I don't think I anything. Excuse me, sir. Rex. What is it? What are you looking for an Edward? Have you seen him? Yeah, I saw him. He was here about a week ago. Do you know where he went? I think he was headed for the southern oasis east of here. Thank you. Perhaps we can catch up with him. Alright, we get to go oasis hopping. Which means you'll probably see the basilisk. That would be this place. Edward, he moved on to the oasis north of here. If you did beat the Basilisk, though, they did give a nice reward of uh, 500 some experience. Alonzo. Eh? What? I said, have you seen Edward? You haven't seen any headboards. What headboard? You asked me if I've seen your headboard. I said, Edward, not headboard. Are you deaf? I know, but it was just a joke. Edward moved on to the next oasis north of here. I already got the treasures off camera uh, while I was level grinding, so we're just going to go straight to the oasis. I'm also surprised they haven't encountered enemies. Whoops. Bush babies. Olive Village a little while ago. I don't believe this! We've been wandering in the desert for hours! Let's get back to the village, I guess. Instant teleportation? I'm sure Edward must have stopped here. Who's this that guy again? Excuse me? You again? Has Edward been back here yet? Yeah, I think I saw him enter the end a few hours ago. Thanks. Alright. End time now, please! here at the end. Edward, yeah, he came here looking for basilisk eggs. Those are used for medicinal purposes, aren't they? Yes, but that's so easy to come by. There's always a risk of being turned to stone by a mother basilisk. The basilisk? They're the most dangerous and solitary creatures in the vast desert. They resemble a cross between a lizard and a fish. They have extremely long, sharp teeth. First of all, they can turn you to stone with a single glance. You know it's best to run from them. You got basilisk eggs? You can stay for free while you wait for Edward. The other villagers. Yeah, I took care of that stuff off the clock, so to speak. Edward is here to see you. But yeah, basilisks are a very ass chafing enemy. So you're the ones who collected the basilisk eggs. Yeah, here they are, Mr. Morrison. Huh? Mr. Morrison? Yes, my last name is Morrison. Why do you look so surprised? Um, er, um, Edward. 
Runeglum sent us to speak with you. Runeglum? You come all you all come such a long way to find me. What can I do for you? Let's sit down. This may take a while. Ah, so it was you who saved Prince Charles and Elvenista. 